Hey everyone, it's Joe Hackman with Joe'sGoneSocial.com and today I have the luxury and uh, the, the distinct uh, opportunity to chat with Martin Seibert and Martin is with 20 Feet and uh, Martin, why don't you uh, start tell by telling us a little bit about what 20 Feet is. Yeah, hi, thanks for um, taking the time. Uh, 20 Feet is a uh, kind of social analytics service we um, Although we try to do to cover more than Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Bitly, what we uh, cover today, it's, um, we call it an eco, tr eco tracking service, meaning that um, as most other social analytics services look into the, the wild, the, mm -hmm. um, uh, the fire hose of Twitter and Facebook and so, and what goes on about my brand, um, we're looking at yourself. So we help you to look at yourself. You do an auth with Twitter or secure authentication with Facebook or YouTube, Bitly, and mm -hmm. we analyze what happens on your own accounts, meaning that we count retweets, we count tweets that you give, you count, we count your followers, we count your views on YouTube, mm -hmm. we count the clicks on Bitly, we count how many fans you have on your Facebook page or on your app or a group or your personal user profile on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much what uh, Facebook, uh, what 20 Feet does. And um, we're a pretty cheap service, meaning mm -hmm. that um, every account you track, two accounts are for free, a Facebook user profile and a Twitter account is for free. Mm -hmm. So we are a kind of a freemium model. And every additional account only costs 249 US dollars per year. Mm. It's not per month, it's per year. So we are pretty cheap, and uh, our hope is that more and more people will be interested in getting social analytics for their um, own Twitter account, Facebook accounts, and all the other accounts out there. Um, we'll hopefully um, have much more services in the future. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's basically what 20 Feet does. Yeah, well, thing. I think you probably you saw my little my initial announcement that's how we kind of got hooked up but i mentioned how you know this is something that i think we'll all probably learn a lot more about in the future because really as users of social media we're all trying to figure out a way how to gauge our impact how to gauge how well are we doing and the 20 feet approach is is kind of nice because you have graphs and uh, charts and a lot of people respond to that kind of information better than just oh well i got you know my clout score went up three points uh, actually uh, 20 feet does even more than just trying um, if you just imagine a child of your twitter followers or what you see on twitter counter also also or um, uh, maybe for your youtube views and mm -hmm. um, this is not that unique so uh, getting charts is one thing but if you look at a chart for let's say a three month period you'll see a couple of outliers where your chart um, went up or mm -hmm. went down. And what 20 feet does is uh, we have a so-called activity stream that will nudge you whenever such an outlier occurs. Mm -hmm. So um, you could lay back and say, okay, um, I don't care about my Twitter stats and about my Facebook stats as long as 20 feet doesn't tell me to look into them. Um, so ego tracking is a pretty boring thing Mm -hmm. if you win every day five twitter followers mm -hmm. um, so uh, it doesn't make a news for you if you win six twitter followers tomorrow mm -hmm. but if you want uh, one let's say 30 twitter followers or your last 50 then what, this would be a case where you might want to look into and that's exactly what 20 feet does it nudges you whenever such an outlier um occurs yeah i actually and have i think it's pretty unique I have an example here. I'm going to drag in front of the screenshot. You, you won't see this, but um, this is just an example of uh, one of those ma emails that you get. It's it's time to check your track. Uh, this activity is for Sunday, October 17th. The Facebook user page Joe Hackman received 23 comments, expected zero to 12, and uh, then you give an opportunity for people to share it and uh, to go to the site and check all your metrics. I have really appreciated that feature actually because I have not been going to the site and looking at the analytics. I've been watching the trends. I've been getting those emails and that's what's letting me know that I'm doing something right. And 
And it's, uh, there are a couple of uh, nice features that you'll like uh, down the road, like we have all this detailed data that we don't display today, like who were those people who retweeted you, who were those people who mentioned you, who were those people who followed you or um, made a fan on your site mm -hmm. uh, on Facebook. And all this information is available, we're just not ready to display it yet, but it's ah. probably going to be a uh, couple of... Uh, I think my programmers will kill me if I uh, say any time period now, but uh, right. uh, it's going to come uh, pretty soon, I think. Okay, well that'll be much... Uh, I think the one that people seem to really want to know about is the lost Twitter followers. I don't know if that's yeah, the, yeah, the actual who were they. Um, I get something that tells me, and I'm just basing that on what I've heard other people talk about when they analyze those services that are available right now that tell you that information. Usually they say, well, the most useful aspect is the ability to uh, see who unfollowed you on Twitter. And yeah. other than that, most of the information is, is for me and most of them is not very useful. Um, I, like the, I like the solid numbers. I like, hey, I expected this range but I got this or I got this. Uh, so I kind of know when my YouTube channel is losing a little bit of uh, luster or, or YouTube has changed something to where my really popular videos aren't coming up on search results as much. So it's time for me to get some new material on there. So it's kind of been a nice tool for me in that regard. What other types of feedback have you gotten from users of the system stating strategically how it's helped them or what they might be using it for? I think um, 20 feet is a pretty simple application at the moment. We um, collect all your data um, after you have done a secure auth. Uh, um, afterwards, you, uh, you simply do nothing. What we do is we send you a daily email if there's something we can send you about. If we don't, we don't send an email out. So only if there's something uh, interesting, we send you an email. And that's pretty much it. So um, uh, we have a couple of features that will help um, uh, more engagement of users for our platform, but um, that's not the goal at the moment. We just want to be a valuable service. And um, it's a small value that we give, but it's a very small price that we uh, charge. So I think it's uh, still a good deal. Um, down the road, we are heading to become a service that will help you to learn how to um, be successful on social media, or hmm. uh, let's say be successful on the web, because uh, social media is not um, the arena we want to be in um, ultimately, because um, there are so many things that are not social media and still very interesting for uh, concerning web success, mm -hmm. like Google Analytics, Google AdWords, um, slide share, which is social media, maybe mm -hmm. um, Flickr and all, all these things um, that are connected to your website, that are connected to other things. And um, our goal is to be as affordable so that individuals can choose to get stats about themselves mm -hmm. on their feed. And maybe also some uh, businesses and freelancers and so on. Yeah, I think you can pretty much count on my $2.50 a year for anything that I'm using that you cover uh, because that's a really, a very, very small Design, price to, to pay. Yeah, we, win, we win them one by one. So. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not the way it works. It's it's always uh, one bowling pin at a time and you just keep hoping that you go down the line, right? Yeah, right, right. And, um, actually, uh, I'm... Uh, um, Everybody who uh, tweets about 20 feet on Twitter, I'm, I'm going to come back to them. We are um, pretty interested in uh, getting feedback, have mm -hmm. a lot of uh, user-based feedback, like user voice, and do remote user testing to improve our usability. So um, everybody who engages with uh, 20 feet is warmly welcome. Yeah, I would agree with that. You guys were uh, very good about uh, when I tweeted something out and things like that. I was uh, really impressed with your response and y you guys are definitely listening and that's good. That's a, a really great sign. You either had it in your DNA or you did your homework before you engaged in social media because that's something that we're anticipating. So it's it's great to see that. So. 
Well, hey, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I just wanted to, uh, you know, get a, a basic interview here done and learn a little bit more about what you were doing. So I want to thank you for uh, thank you for listening in. So people just yeah, go to 20feet.com, right? If we have this learning platform online. I think this is going to be very uh, interesting, but um, can't talk too much about it. It's going to take a while to, to build that and maybe then again. That makes sense. So people okay. just go to 20feet.com and uh, they can associate their accounts and, and see how it works. Yeah, it's, it's free for the first 30 days and it's free for one Twitter and one Facebook account. So um, a lot of time uh, to find out if it is useful and I would hope so. Mm -hmm. I, I would definitely agree. So, uh, well, thank you very much for uh, uh, agreeing to uh, participate in this interview. It's, it's very much appreciated, Martin. You're welcome.